All right, guys, let's go into an exercise that I believe you need to eat for breakfast, and it's pull-ups or chin-ups or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to coach Vinny through a, a ton of variations of pull-ups. Now, when I started pull-ups, I could only do one rep at a time, but I built it up so I could do 20-plus reps in a set. This is an awesome exercise for making the lats wider, putting muscle on the shoulders and the biceps, but really for getting your lats to grow like a weed. So Vin's going to go through a couple variations, and you could do pull-ups at home. Buy that like $20 or $30 pull-up bar to put in your doorway, and Big Vin's going to go through a couple. So Vin, let's go through the first one with an overhand grip. Why don't you face us so they can see you? Why don't you turn around this way so they can see you? There you go, overhand grip. He's gonna get a full extension of the arms, he's gonna cross the ankles, and he's gonna pull as high as he can and down under control. See how he comes down under control, real tight, trying to squeeze the shoulder blades as you go up. Awesome, and you go as high as you can. Some guys can get their chin over the bar. If you could get up to nose level, that's good. Try to get as high as you can, keep the reps full range, but notice you went down all the way. Big mistake guys make. They do halfway. Big tip too, guys. You'll notice that you'll be able to squeeze out extra reps as soon as those elbows turn in. So if the emphasis is on your lats, keep your elbows flared out. Once the elbows turn in, it becomes a lot of biceps, which is okay if you want to work your biceps, but if you're working your lats, keep those elbows flared. Cool. So now let's back up to the bar behind you, Vin, and you could still face us. Now you're going to go an underhand grip, actually, and your chin will come behind there. Either one, either bar you could grab. He's going to do <clears throat> underhand. Still working the lats but also work in the biceps and the grip. Also notice his legs don't move. He's not swinging through the legs. He's letting the lats do all the work. Big mistake people make is they're swinging the legs, also called kipping. If you want to put on muscle, no momentum. You got to be real tight on these pull-ups. So we've done overhand and underhand. One tip too, a lot of beginners who are using chin-ups or pull-ups to build up their back sometimes have a hard time feeling the muscle. So a little <clears throat> tip, uh, Keep your hands up here, take your fingers and start tapping the muscle as you pull your elbows down. Try and feel that muscle switch on and you should be able to feel contract. A lot of guys don't have any back muscles because they don't even know how to use their back muscles. It's not a muscle you use um, during your everyday activity. So fingers right here, tap them and squeeze. Once you can do that without weight, you'll be able to get a better workout when you hit the bar. Nice. All right, so we've done overhand and underhand. Now let's switch up the different width of the grip. So we went. We went a little bit outside the shoulders, now we're going to go inside, okay? Either way, under or overhand. Here he goes, he's going to pull up high, real strict, real tight. Squeezes at the top, squeezes at the top. Nice, okay, now, and this is if you don't really have, some, some of these might feel a little bit odd to the shoulder. If your shoulder bothers you, don't go too wide. But if you're healthy, you could try going wide grip. This was real popular in the classical golden era of bodybuilding. These guys used to do 10 sets of pull-ups before every lat workout. Check it out. Here goes Vin Diesel. Going wide. And you can see the lats working. Elbows being pulled down and squeezing. Now, we've got wide. We've gone shoulder width. Let's go thumbs together, very close together, overhand grip. It's going to be more of a reverse curl. Go this way. Yeah, and it's going to be almost like a reverse curl. It's going to hit a lot of biceps, but it's also going to work the lats. Yeah. You can see the biceps getting a lot of work here. I don't think I've done that one before, Zach. That's yeah, a good one. that's a real good one. And, you know, what I say is maybe every set of pull-ups, once you're more, a little bit more advanced, you've been training for a while, you would switch up your grip every single set to shock the muscles. Don't let them get used to any angle or any, any different, you know, grip. Let me, uh, let me tell you guys too, if uh, you guys got a graduation coming up or a wedding coming up, don't go buy your suit yet. That's going <laughs> to really spread out your lats. It's going gonna, it's gonna to mess up the salesman when he tries to put on your suit. So, uh, that's good. What else you got? Nice. Well, we've, we've gone overhand and underhand, different grips. Now let's do what's called staggered, where we go over, under. One is over, one is under. It doesn't matter how wide or how close, you just mixing everything up. Nice. See how he stretches the arms out all the way? And of course, you go and get equal reps on each side. We're putting the body in a little bit of a state of shock here, just not letting it get used to any, 
any different way. So we've gone overhand, underhand, we've got different grips. Now let's go side to side. So you could grab either one. <clears throat> yeah, we'll go side to side that way and then we'll do the neutral one where we're going left to right around the bar. This is a tough one, but real cool. Puts a lot of different stress on the lats. Goes one angle, then to the other. Nice. And those are starting to add up. <laughs> yeah, we, we've done about 30 pull-ups so far. Let me, uh, let me also say, guys, that pull-ups are going to really take a lot out of you. It's not one of those things you'll be able to probably do every single day. So make sure you take a good recovery. You'll notice if you come back, you can only do a percentage of your reps last time. It simply means your back still recovering. No big deal. This is about trial and error. This is an art, not a science. So uh, you'll know that an extra day next time. So you can keep making those gains. Nice. What about um, where we would grab here and go side to side of the bar? Oh, yeah. yeah. And you got a, if you got one of these, you want to use those? Yeah, we could absolutely use these. Now let me tell them a little trick. Let's say they're in a gym. These V handles you might find attached <clears throat> for a lat pull down, but you may not find them for pull ups. You could unhook it from the lat pull down and throw it over, you know, a, a pull up bar. And I'll actually you could show side to side, and then I'll show a different version. So he's pulling left and right, left and right. Yep, it's going to move around a little bit. Puts the body in a little bit of a state of shock here. Those are good. Yeah, this is fantastic. you got to use your core to keep your... Yeah, let me show them a real old school one. <clears throat> this is an old one that I picked up. My favorite book was the Arnold Schwarzenegger Encyclopedia Modern Bible. I used to read that all day, all night. Black and white photos, the guys were built like just rugged and ripped. They did something called sternum pull-ups to work the abdominals. Mm. And I'm going to pull it not to my chest, but all the way up to my sternum. So it's a different angle. Huh. Really got to flex the lats. That's good. You can see your lats too, eh, Zach Turner? Yeah, absolutely. You see a lot of... See, you the lats right. <laughs> yeah, that's, I mean, like, you can see how low his lats stirred into. And you see, most guys don't have that. Like, I mean, dude, your back looks yeah. like a barn. I got to tell you that pull-ups have been probably one of the best bodybuilding movements to put muscle on my body. I, I've always done pull-ups. And like I said, I was only able to do one of them. And then I built up to two. But I understood that it had to break records to become bigger and to put on more muscle. But in the real world, you know, some days you're exhausted, you're tired, you may not break records all the time. But I remember building up to five in a row, ten in a row. And once I got to that 20 in a row, that was great. Pull-ups are excellent, okay? And it's a body weight drill. It can be done almost anywhere. So you got to focus a lot of energy on this movement. But like Vince said, don't get carried away. Because if you're, you'll know your lats are sore. They get sore into that armpit area. If you overdo it, you can't get strong. Let the body rest. Yeah. And uh, guys who want to build up their biceps too, um, you may find that um, you don't need to do much bicep training, at least isolation training. Unless you are a bodybuilder, a competitive bodybuilder, yeah, you're going to have to add in some isolation stuff for your biceps. But, um, I mean, if you're, uh, you know, even 150 to 200 pounds and you're pulling your body up with a close grip, don't tell me you're not using your biceps. Your Show the guns, big Ben. Show the guns. There's the guns. I mean, you're only as strong as your weakest link, right? So if your your back's not going to get stronger unless your biceps get stronger. So it all works together. And like Vinny said, focus on the on the big stuff. We were speaking about that with real man strength. Training economics. Get the big stuff done. That's what puts on the muscle, and that's what picks up the chicks too, guys. <laughs> all right, we're coming at another.